Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. I'm fitting my rocker panel to the car. Now, before I do any welding at all, what I've been doing is I've been making all the pieces to put this jigsaw puzzle back together. Uh, we're having a little bit of problem here, but we're going to be able to fix that issue. And when I say that, we got a pretty good sized gap right here. But uh, we're going to take care of that as we move down the line. Now we had to cut this piece right here, and you can see I just got a spot welded in right now. I don't have it welded all the way in. Uh, we got this piece here, we had to take off the parts car. And then I had to take my torch and burn all this out to get this stupid, idiotic uh, glue out of here. What's going on? What are you doing? I just got the rubber in. You got it all done already? Make sure all the tools get put away. You need to bend those things down. Well, just take a, take a dead blow and tap them down. Okay. She's been here for a long time. You'd think she'd realize what's going on and how to do it right. So, back to this nightmare. Um, you can see that the Mercedes-Benz parts really, really fit good. And here's where our spot welds were originally. And you can see that when I push this thing up and kind of get it in place, it's all going to line up really, really nice and going to give us an accurate fit. Now, what I did over here, being that this quarter panel is good, you can see where somebody patched it right here. We don't want to disrupt this factory seam right here. So what I did is I went ahead and I'm keeping part of the original uh, rocker panel and then I will graph this piece here and that's what you saw me cut. I'm going to graph this into this. And we're probably going to butt weld that. I don't know yet, but that's what it's looking like. Um, and then over here in this section, because this is rotted out, this ain't got nothing to do with this, I actually got uh, the pieces that I took off the four door. And if we look right here, here's the piece we're talking about. Uh, this is actually this piece right here. See there? So. What I'll do is I'll cut this section out of this one and then I'll graph it into here to make it all work. And hopefully it's going to work the right way. Now remember this is off a four door. This is a two door. There's a little slight difference. So we're going to have to do some jerry rigging on that to get it to work. But I think that's going to actually work out pretty good just like it's sitting. So I'm telling everybody what's going on here. I haven't done any welding in the last several days because what I'm doing, I'm fitting parts fitting together. Fitting everything together. Okay, can you jigsaw go ahead and hold the camera? Jigsaw puzzle together. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. Okay. All right, so come on over here. So we got, uh, where's our piece of that? Now, these were off of the fender well. The, this is the outer, this is the inner. This is all we needed, this is it. This is everything we needed to fix this. Let me show you how it goes. And then you're going to see why I had to cut this piece out because that was completely rotted. And then this piece here actually fits in here like this. Um, if we can get it, there it is right there. See how that goes? Uh -huh. Okay, so that's going to go in there. And then we got this piece if you want to swap places. And then this piece here, see it fits in here like that right there. There you go. So, once everything's together, it'll all fit. But we don't want to do any welding yet because I got to get all this to fit in there. See? You see, this is the part. That, this is our nightmare right here. This is why the name of this car is nightmare. All these pieces I got to use on this table. See? So here's our original rocker. Let's go over here and I'm going to show you what it. Uh, okay, so this was right here like this. Uh. All right. So if you look at this hole right here, can you see that hole? Uh -huh. Okay, well that's this piece right here and they don't make this. Uh, so what I got to do, I either got to make one and I'll 
cut the spot welds out, flatten it out and make one, or we'll reuse this, which it doesn't look like that's going to be a happy situation. So yeah, that's the cap on that. They actually have a separate cap, and instead of selling this with the rocker panel, I don't understand why they didn't do that. Okay, uh, you got to make that because that is obsolete. You're not going to sell it. So that's why I actually kept this is so I can make a pattern of this cap right here. You don't want to throw anything away until you're completely done with the job. Because you might um, could need it. Yeah. This is actually the floor that we cut out. But we're not getting rid of that. Let me show you why. This is the front of the passenger floor, but look what we got. Okay. Do you see this thing right here? Okay, let's go ahead and look inside the floor. Now, if you bring the camera over here, where's my hand right here? That's this spot right here, see? See that right there? Okay, let me put my finger through there. Here it is. Okay, you see? So that's this area right here, see, look. So what I gotta do is, of course, we're not gonna use that. So what I'll do is I'll take a piece of bar that's fat at one end, skinny at the other, and I will literally make this piece right here to fit in here. Okay, where was it at? Right here. Right over okay. there in the corner. Now, I don't know what this thing is for. You got me, I don't know. But whatever that thing is for, you need it. Probably important. Um, this does go on that side. I don't even know. Let me see, is that the... Actually, I think that's the driver's side. That might be the driver's side. That is the driver's side, okay? But there you go. That's a good example. Don't throw stuff away until you're completely done with the job. So this was actually a four-door. This was a four-door rocker. That you converted. Cut that we out. converted into a two-door, just like we did the other side. So I'll go ahead and mimic it around. I'm gonna get everything ready. We got this all set in. We've already fit our piece here, and we made our piece here. We got this welded in. Now what I got to do, uh, we're going to go ahead and put this to the side. We want to test fit that on there and see how it fit. It fits good. So we'll put this over here for later use. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip the car back up to eye level where it's supposed to be. And I'll go ahead and repair this piece right here. And then we're going to have to go ahead and finish making this piece. And then once all that's done, I think we can weld. Alright, what we're doing now, um, we're working on the nightmare and the, car, the rocker panel that we have is not made for a two-door. It was a four-door rocker panel. Uh, that's all you can buy now. So we had to modify that. Now, when we first started this side over here, the right-hand side of the car, um, the bottom of the quarter panel was in good condition, or I thought it was. Uh, once I investigated it further and further and further, we found out that the lower bottom of the quarter panel was rotted, which actually made the uh, uh, top section of the rocker panel was attached to that. And by the time I went ahead and took all that off, um, well, it decided to be a mangled piece of shit. And I literally had to take everything out and um, start over. And now what we're doing, we're actually assembling and making this lower front quarter panel section slash rocker panel piece. Let's go look at it and see what we got. So if we look down in this area right here, this is the lower section of this quarter panel and it actually covers all this so you know water and debris won't get inside it but it was rotted on this edge right here and then by the time we got to that section uh, where the quarter panel was actually still mounted to that section because I didn't want to go into this 
I didn't want to go into this, um, so I left part of the, uh, the old rocker on there, but by the time we figured this out, it was too late. So now what I've done is I went ahead and I took some uh, steel that was already bent and had a lip on it that was in pretty good shape. Um, and then what we're doing here is this actually fits right here and I got it where it fits pretty tight so that'll be welded onto that and I get inside I get inside the quarter panel to spot weld that on hopefully I believe there's a hole in there uh, but we will weld, well we're gonna weld this on there and then once that's on what I've done is I've taken a section out of the rocker panel and this is just surface rust um, so don't look at it and say oh you're using a rusted piece no I'm not this has been sandblasted and you can see it's in very good shape so that surface rust will come off but I had to take a section off of the four door and then what I'm doing now is if we go like this Okay, you can see that I'm fitting this into this, so we can, yeah, we're going to get all this together like a jigsaw puzzle. So I got this piece here that's going to go right there like that, and then once I get this on, then we'll measure it out and manipulate it to find out how much of this we need to cut off. Alright, see, i got to cut it off. I made it longer. Uh, and then you can see right here, if I put this right here, you can see where this is going to butt up to that right there. And then we'll have a nice butt weld there. But as we're looking in that area, uh, this piece right here, okay, this was rotted. And when I say rotted out, let me find it. And I will show it to you. Here it is right here. Okay, so this is the piece right here that literally came out of here and you can see that we kept some of the old uh, rocker panel and we were gonna butt weld that up that would have butt welded up and it would have looked really nice and everything would have been handy but what has happened is that we can't use this anymore uh, because it's rotted you can see it right there rotted piece of shit so I had to take this piece out and this was off the four-door. This was off the four-door car. And we found out that the four-door, uh, whatever post you want to call that, Z post, C post, D post, I don't give a fuck what it is, it's a door opening. Uh, we found out that the structure was different, so what I had to do is I had to split it down the center. Right here. Can you see that right there? I had to split that and widen it out I had to widen it out, uh, I tack welded both pieces on, and then I had to add metal into it. Because let me uh, explain this to you. On a four-door, this is part of the quarter panel. When you get a new quarter panel, this piece is molded to this piece. On a two-door, it's not. This is a separate piece from this, and it's spot welded. And then once it's spot welded, then it's got seam sealer that goes all the way down. Do you see the fucking nightmare that we got going here repairing this fucking car? Now's, Now's the time, time that you want to hit the subscribe, subscribe button. button. Click, Click on, on that, that bell for notifications, notifications and comment, comment below. below. Because, because if you, you don't, this big blob of Mondo is going to be inside your bed covers tonight, tonight when you crawl in there and it's, and it's going to get in places that we really don't want to talk about right now. Do my friend, pay the favor and subscribe now. Do it, or that Mondo is going to do you. So I'm going to butt this up to here because this I kind of screwed up, but that's okay because I got this piece. Okay, this is that piece. This is the extra piece that we took out. Um, I think it is, or this is off the other side or something. 
Okay, so we can use this piece here. You can see that's the same thing. And then we'll take this piece, and then this piece will line up with that piece. Do you get the idea here? Do you, are you seeing what's going on? Um, this is a 70s car. Nobody restores 70s cars. Do you know how hard it is to buy parts for this? I've been looking for a quarter panel for this thing for nine months on eBay and everywhere. I can't find it. It's gone. It's obsolete. You'll never find one. It's over. I found four-door ones, but I can't find two doors. So we are stuck making our pieces. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my scribe tool, which is right here. And then I'm going to get this scribed out. And if I bring my flashlight over here, it'll stay there. So I need to notch it out here, right here, and then I need to notch it out right here. And we want to get that as tight as we can up against this, so I'm going to bring it back here and then I'll fine tune it. Something like that right there. So then we're going to slide this in here, but remember I told you that I made it a little bit bigger so I can trim it. Because I want this to fit real tight up against the door post. So I'm going to make one more cut. Okay, now at this point, what I want to do is I don't want to use my cutting wheel, but what I do want to do is use my uh, roller lock grinder. And uh, this is basically where I was telling you that we got to fine tune this piece. We don't want to take too much off, we just want to get a little bit at a time. And it looks like that's it right there. Okay, and then that's going to go up here. And then now, as you can see, it's starting to look like a rocker panel slash quarter panel section once again. Before we get on to this subject here, I want to take you outside and show you a different subject. Now, we live in... Dallas, Texas, or that's where I am at now anyway. And the winters don't get really, really bad here. But it is winter time. I mean, you can see I'm wearing my overalls and an extra shirt. So it's pretty cold outside, am I right? Check this shit out. We got a guy that is mowing the lawn and weed eating in the middle of the winter. He's a company man. He probably gets paid $6 an hour. But, I mean, is this ridiculous or what? It's the middle of the winter, freezing ass cold out. And they are scamming these corporations, which I don't blame them. I mean, you know, corporations have corporation. But they're right in the middle of how can we scam to get money to work and, and do nothing, basically. You can see that the grass that they are mowing it's not even there. There's no grass there. It's dead fucking weeds. Talk about fucking doing something, getting paid for doing nothing. I'll tell you what, that fucking there takes the cake. So, Mr. Six Dollar Company Man, he's gonna keep on weeding the sidewalk and trimming grass. Something that really doesn't need done, but he's going to go ahead and do it so he can have himself a job in the winter time. Why, Mr. Big Man over here in the big building pays, because I, I don't know if you all know this, but to mow this giant lawn right here, to get all this lawn that goes all the way around the back and all that hill and up to the tree line and all that and around, they're paying about $900 a month. Some other fucking grass. 
when they actually got about, oh, there he is. There's the lawnmower man. There he is, right there. You can see him cruising the parking lot. Freezing his ass off. He's got all his winter clothes on, his gloves, and his ski suit. But he's still mowing the lawn in the middle of the winter to keep the job going. Um, they got about 150 employees over there. And actually, I think they got a maintenance man that could probably mow the lawn in the winter time and do the job. But no, they're going to go ahead and pay $1,000 to have it done. I'm sorry, I had to throw that in. Um, I just think it's a little ridiculous how companies and small businesses and just people in general rip other people off. That's all that was about. Uh, if you bring your car to me and you say, 10 people told me that I got to do this, and I look at your car and say, those 10 people are lying to you. You don't have to do that. Let's do this instead and save you money. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to agree with the other 10 people because it's an easy way to make another thousand fucking dollars. Um, I just don't believe in scamming and ripping off. And Anyway, that's my little vlog today. Let's get back into business over here and get to fucking work. The door is rubbing on the rocker panel right here in this area. And the rocker panel is, in this area here, is up too high. So we know that we got it right here. We got this pretty good. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this screw out and this screw out. We're going to leave that one in and we're going to drop this rocker panel down. Now, the reason I'm going to do that in this area is because it's rubbing right here and we want that body line to be a perfect opening all the way around. Um, when you put this in, of course, this floor will flex down. All right, so I'm thinking that we didn't push the floor down far enough in this area. We didn't push the floor down far enough, which is making the rocker panel raise up. Because if you look at this door gap here, you can see that it is right on. All right, and this section of the rocker panel is sitting perfect exactly where it's supposed to be. And you can see the body line on this. And one more thing about these Mercedes, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this. Um, this is a high-end car. So when you work on it, expect all the high-end aftermarket parts or OEM parts to fit like a glove, and they do. It's just when you're doing multiple gloves and adding multiple pieces is when you got to shimmy sham around. If I was only going to replace the rocker panel on this only, I guarantee you it would have fit on there perfect. We would have spot welded on and it would have been a done deal. But by adding the floor and all this other hokey pokey shit has caused us to shim around, chamois it around, and get her done. Okay, so we just cut the rust off the bottom of our kicker panel. <clears throat> that goes to the, uh, right there. Let's see where it goes. Show you what we're going to do with it. And this is the piece that goes right here. That we took out of the car to put the floor in. And it was rotted on the bottom down here. What I got to do is I got to add that metal back in there. Very, very important. So I'm going to take a piece of this and then I will figure out how much I need to go back down. Now, another thing I need to do, which really sucks, is I got to take these pieces right here. See them two square nuts? All right. Well, those go right here on these holes. And then there's another one which is right here, 
and it goes on this hole right here. And that has got to be added, see? That has to be added. You can see right there where it goes, and I'm missing a nut. Uh, I'll have to get one. But uh, you can kind of see what's going on right there. And then this one would come over here, of course, and then go right here. I can get it kind of lined up in here to show you. And then we need to tie all that stuff together. Just like that. That's exactly how it needs to be. And then we're going to take this and tie that to that. What a mess. Or another option is, is we got the parts car here. And inside the parts car, there is some random pieces we can use. And if you look right there, it might even be better to go ahead and cut that whole piece out. Just take that whole kicker panel out of the car and then rebuild this one. As you can see right over here, see that's rusted out right down there. Go ahead and zoom in on that. You can see where it's rotted and rusted there. But on this side, it's in good shape, so it might be better to go ahead and take this panel right here, remove it from the parts car, and replace it inside this car, and take that one and throw it in the trash. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and remove the one out of the parts car. I'll rebuild that one, and then take the one in the car, and I'm repeating myself. And telling you exactly what I said I was going to do is what I'm doing now. So what I want to do is mark where all my spot welds are. And I'm going to use my plasma cutter to take this off. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the floor out around this piece. But then, on the other hand... There's really no way to get back here. Let's just start cutting and see where it leads. Okay, so we got this piece here. So we can grasp back onto this piece. Remember that little, but this is the one that was rotted and rusted. So now we got that and this. Let me get this off of here and see where we're going to go from there. When you're restoring a car and you got to rely on uh, parts cars, to restore it with, it takes about five times longer to do a job than if you had a brand new piece because you got to salvage the piece that you need and make it work. one little situation that really fucks you up on it um, where it just gives you a pain in the ass kind of like this right here Junkyard action right here. Fucker. Fuck that fuck.
Always use a jack stand when you're getting under a piece of shit like this. While I'm under here, I might as well go ahead and cut this fucking floor around this shithole here on the back side where I can't get to it on the east side. Hopefully the pins will come out. Shit! So fucking dope, man. Yeah! Fucking believe this, believe it! You can't rebuild a car when it's completely running out. Go buy one that's already fucking running and restored. Did I tell you these are big spot welds? They're not little baby ones? I don't know if I told you that. Have four, six, six, six. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's your fucking floor piece, bitch. You can't rebuild a car when it's completely running out. Go buy one that's already fucking running and restored. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.